Hello, my name is Joel Siegel, and I'm the lab director here at Liberty Oil Field Services. And I'm here to t today to talk, to talk to you about viscosity versus elasticity. Why do we care? Viscosity is an important in many industrial applications. In hydraulic fracturing, viscosity is important because one of the primary goals is to place particles we call propent or sand deep into the target formation. Accomplishing this goal generally requires a fluid with a thickness above that of water to prevent the sand from settling out of the fluid either in the horizontal section of the wellbore or in the near wellbore area. Viscosity measurements are typically used as the main tool to judge and optimize the fluid's availability to transport propent of polymer-based fluid, frac fluid systems. The minimum viscosity needed, however, is often overestimated. Excessive viscosity increases costs, raises treating pre pressures, which may cause undesired height growth and can reduce fracture conductivity since many of the chemicals used to increase the viscosity leave residue, which damages the propent permeability or conductivity. What's the difference between viscosity and elasticity? Viscosity is the more common concept in our industry. Viscosity is simply a measurement of how thick or thin a fluid is. Is the fluid thick like honey or is it thin like water? Frac fluid viscosity traditionally uses the power law model to describe viscosity. For this rheological model, the shear stress versus shear rate data give a linear relation on a log log scale. The slope of this log log line is denoted by N prime and is labeled the flow behavior index. N prime equals one implies a Newtonian fluid. The shear stress at a shear rate of one is labeled the consistency index and is denoted by K prime. Traditionally, a rotating cup and bob viscometer known as, as a couette viscometer is used to make these viscosity measurements. API standard RP39 and ISO 13503 fully describe the current testing procedures used by the industry. Below are some images of some common instruments tra traditionally used to measure viscosity in our industry. Different instrumentation, however, is required to make fluid elasticity measurements. While rotational viscometers are suitable for measuring weak viscoelastic properties, they can't be used to measure strong viscoelastic properties. This is primarily due to the tendency of fluid to climb, known as the Weisenberg effect. An oscillatory rheometer is required to accurately measure a fluid's elastic properties. Below are images of an oscillatory in instrument used to measure elasticity in our labs. Elasticity is a newer or less frequently utilized concept in the frac industry. Viscosity alone doesn't have good correlation to propent transport tests. This is because viscosity measurement rationale only accounts for Stokes Law settling. Stokes Law states that sedimentation is inversely proportional to medium viscosity. It doesn't account for additional lifting force created by flow orthogonal to, to the settling that is happening during the fracturing process, known as the fluid's dynamic suspending power. There is, however, a strong correlation between a fluid's el elasticity and its ability to transport propen. Viscoelastic frac fluids have properties that are partly viscous and partly elastic. G prime or storage modulus represents the elastic portion of the fluid's viscoelastic behavior. G double prime or loss modulus represents the viscous portion of the fluid's viscoelastic behavior. If G prime is greater than G double prime or the storage ratio is greater than one, the fluid is considered to be elastic. Elasticity is needed to investigate and determine the minimum rheological properties required for efficient propent transport. In summary, two fluids can have the same or similar viscosity and power law parameters, but have substantially different propent transport characteristics. Elasticity data can be used to determine the minimum required polymer loading to transport propent efficiently. Liberty uses an oscillatory rheometer to select products that have superior elastic properties. It is possible to use this technique to test your frac fluid properties to ensure that your frac fluid meets the minimum requirements to transport propent efficiently, efficiently and perform to maximum benefits. If you would like to learn more about elasticity, please visit libertyfrac.com. Thanks.